Hello, everybody. I'm uh, back again. I just woke up right now. We're going to do a tutorial, and this one is going to be a little bit different. Um, I was asked uh, by this, uh, some person I have in my group on Facebook. He was, I don't know if he was upset, but he was just really concerned. He was, um, might have been that he was probably upset. Maybe he doesn't understand. Um that there are different ways of of drawing faces so he asked me you know he gave me he left me a comment saying well can you um is it possible isn't there any way that you can draw a face a head with without just without uh, grid lines and this and that <clears throat> yeah it's true i mean you could um um i did a video before but we're gonna we're gonna do more stuff that's more like visual effect. And we're gonna actually concentrate and we're gonna use our head. And remember the key, uh, the idea here is to um, use your head and it's called, you know, visualize. You, you are visualizing the face in front of your mind. You're training your mind little by little in how to draw a face. It could be anything from your head or at the same time you can use reference and you don't have to use lines i'm going to um, show you several that i've learned by romero i had to go back and there was an, another one he did the latest one that was really good that i really enjoyed a lot um that you're training your eye to see um the face and little by little you're, you're molding the face and you're figuring where things go. You're gonna start with the eyes, the eyebrows. Some people will start with the nose. I'm gonna show you several ways, including cartoonist, which I noticed that I actually, I actually subscribe to some great cartoonist. There's one called Cartoon Mark, he's really good. And there's, um, I think it's uh, John Thomas or, no, James Thomas, he's really good. And then we have our famous one called uh, Tom Richmond. He also starts by visual effect by seeing, you know, the face. Like, I'm going to give you some ideas. For example, let's uh, see if we could find another. Yeah, All right. we'll, we'll use this one. <clears throat> okay. Okay. For example, Rich um, Richmond, Tom Richmond would, you know, he'll do like some type of form of a potato head there. And then he visualizes the eye in a center. And then he does like the T-shape, which I've shown you guys already with the book, right? And then you have um, James that he'll start by just one line only and then he'll start an eye here or sometimes he'll even do a shape you know he'll do a shape like a box shape or a triangle shape he'll start one eye here then he'll start a nose here and this and that but <clears throat> you can do the same thing with life drawing you could do use just one line only you know and you just work your way by adding more features here's the nose the corner of the nose and then you have the other eye here and and then you can do a smile here and then you can start working with the shape of the face of course you are going to use <coughs> excuse me you're going to use shapes or you don't have to use shapes so there's several that i've been you know I've looked on Google uh, because I wanted to find more videos. And, and uh, if you guys are interesting in drawing faces and heads and you want to discover something new, then look on Google and you can find also not just only a uh, step-by-step -step process that they have on Google, but you can find videos on Google. And sometimes those videos are independent videos from, uh, I would say, Skillshare. You know, like those short videos, and sometimes they'll lead you to YouTube. 
and some of them even lead you to Facebook also. I have found out that that I'm, I'm on Google. You can find me on Google um, and you can look up um, uh, Marcus, Marcus D.U. cartoons or whatever, comic books, whatever, and you'll, you'll find me on Google and then you'll, you'll see me uh, probably on Facebook, on Google. So Google is like, forget it. You know, you can find anything on Google. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of reference and uh, we'll actually draw from our heads, of course. And uh, little by little, <clears throat> we're going to get the idea of constructing the head. And I'm going to do this for him too, uh, drawing the head um, using just visual effect, you know, visual effect and uh, training your eye to see the shapes for the face so and we're going to use just a few little lines you know and i'm going to show you a good one that i just saw one you know just recently i just saw it from romero on youtube and i'm going to see if i can download it because he explains it more better and in spanish and in english i i think he does explain it in english also because some of his videos are in english and in spanish so, so let's get started. What we're going to do is, and this time I'm going to use a darker pencil because I noticed my last videos I did, I've been using too much of the blue pencil or the orange pencil that you can't really see too much. So I'm going to try to use, uh, you know, darker pencil. All right, so let's get started. And I'm going to use this one for shading. Actually, I'll start with this one first. Waste this one first. All right. So I actually took notes of everything that I need and uh, the first thing we're going to do is heads and faces, okay? And then after that, what we're going to do, the next video after this, because I'm going to try to do two videos. Um, I'm going to do one with just faces and heads and then the other one with bodies because um, I myself need a lot of practice and there's some latest stuff by Romero that he does the body. All right, so we're gonna visualize, you know, the nose. Now we can do a triangle shape for the nose. And we're training our, you know, our eyes to see certain shapes, how the nose looks like. And we go up, this will be the bridge of the nose, right? And then we're going to make a horizontal line. That would be the eyebrow line. And this is the access line. Okay. So <clears throat> don't worry about these lines I did before. So, you know, this is something that we did be the other thing that I was showing. This is, we're working right now with something different now. Okay. So maybe I should have started a new page. I don't know. But just try to visualize that we start with the nose first right here. Okay the bridge of the nose, horizontal line, that'll be my eyebrow line, and right here is the center. Then I could just keep going down a little bit, okay? So it's like we're visualizing and using a few lines at the same time. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do like if we were doing the eye socket, but in a way it's sort of like a mask. And Romero actually uses this technique to do the mask. It's like this side is going to be less and this side is going to be a little bit wider because it's a three-quarter view, right? And then I notice he goes up and he does another line. And then he does the other eye here, okay? And then the other eye a little bit closer because it's a three-quarter view. So as you're doing the uh, eyes, you're, you know, before you do the eyes, you do the line, right? And then you have the eyes. And at the same time, you're visualizing all this. This will be the plane, part of the plane on the corner of the eye here. And then we go down. We'll simply do like a mouth here. Here's the filter underneath the nose. Here's the mouth. Here's the lip. And here's the chin, okay? 
So little by little, <clears throat> we're going to do a face. Now, I tried it several ways, and sometimes I kind of messed up. So if you see me a little bit kind of messed up, don't worry about it. We'll start it all over again, and we'll figure this out. Right here will be the corner of the face. And we could actually transform this into David Finch's technique also. And we start working with the rest of the face. See? So let's try this one again. And we'll use another paper. We're going to do the nose. Eyebrows. Bridge of the nose. And another line for the eye. can visualize the mask if I want or just do a ghost image of the mask go up work my way with the eye and then this other eye here after that I'm going to start working with the mouth after that the corner of the the structure of the face over here, which is the contour of the side of the head right here. At the same time, cheek lines here and cheek lines here. And then we have the chin right here. And then little by little, I, I'm starting to see in my mind, I'm starting to see the planes of the face. And then the jaw. Now, again, you could actually, little by little, just start off with the three lines, uh, just like David Finch and Serpino, if you want. But we're trying to find an easier way. I'm not going to tell you this is going to be easy, because I think working without construction lines is just going to be a little bit complicating sometimes because you really got to concentrate and you're actually training your eye to see a face. You know what I mean? Uh, usually what's really important is that you need to understand the structure of the face by having, you know, the uh, lines. You can't just draw a face um, with certain grid lines. You know what I mean? Some people get away with this. You know, sometimes they'll, they'll do it. I've seen Romero do faces just like that without grid lines, but he does, you know, <clears throat> use, which I'm going to show you another one he did, which I liked a lot. It just may be a cross. That's about it. And then after that, he starts working with the face and we're going to do it right here. So we have a face so far, but of course you really got to take your time to see how everything you know, flows, you know, you have to capture the rhythm of the face, the structure of the face, um, especially the bone structure of the skull. You really got to capture this. And you're visualizing everything. You're actually using your mind. And you're just going to do, you know, you're going to start out with an image of, a, of the nose. And I think the reason why he started with the nose is because that's the first thing you see on a person's face is the nose. And then he visualizes the frontal part of the, uh, the forehead, which is the eyebrow line. And usually, if I were to do this, 
uh, for example, um, like David Finch would probably do. Well, David Finch would probably uh, do it this way, which I'm going to show you another way. Um, let's do this in marker. Use this better. All right. David Finch would, you know, would do something like this, and, and inclu including Serpino. We visualize the, you know, of course the center, and then we draw the line. Then we have another line here. That's the eye uh, eyebrow line. Then we have the nose. Then we have the mouth, and then we have the chin. Now, if you want, you could do it this way. You could do the lines, the grid lines, you know. You know, practice by doing the grid lines. And then after that, once you get the, you know, the idea, you know, then you can actually visualize all this. And you can draw a face without all these lines. So, <clears throat> David Finch would start, you know, doing a hint of the bridge of the nose here. Then he'll do a line here for the front part of the plane of the head here after that he'll do this line here you know trying to build up everything little by little and then he'll do the out plane the outline plane that goes out and then he brings in the line like this right then he'll start over here right and then after that you know he'll do the mouth and then of course, he uh, even though you did already the chin line, but you want to, you know, get the right proportion. So he goes back and he fixes this again, which is uh, the last thing you do. Then after that, um, you start working with the planes, more planes. And then you work with, you can scribble in the eye. And then you scribble in the other eye here. See? If you want to do it the way David Finch does it, then do it the way David Finch. But um, this person in um, in my group, he wants to learn. Uh, well, he wants to find out. I don't know if he wants to learn because, you know, I looked at his uh, profile uh, because I usually do that. Trust me. I kind of sneak in um, um, one of my... Um, uh, you know, members, you know, the groups, because sometimes I get, you know, a lot of people that, that just want to join the group and they don't, they're not into art and you know, they just want to join. I don't know. I don't know what's the purpose of that. I, some of them, you can see some of their artwork, uh, this and that. So anyway, um, I don't know if he really wants to learn how to draw a face or not, but I'm just giving him an idea that you could do this both ways. You could, you, you know, you could use the grid lines, you know, the construction lines, or you could actually uh, start, you know, training your eye to see all these things. And I like to use certain lines, you know. It just helps me better to figure out where things go, you know. I think it's better to use you know, at least a few lines and then little by little you start building it by shapes or, you know, how do you call it? Um, like I said, that the planes actually help you um, form the face, okay? So I, I like to use either the circle, you know, if I want, I can use a circle first and then just do these, pro these process that I just did right now, okay? So now we're going to do uh, the front view and um, we're going to do visual effect. We're, you know, we'll use a few lines and this is one of the best ones I've seen by Romero that I liked a lot, which is this one. I actually took notes and I got to glue this also. I don't know whether to start another book, but maybe I'll just glue it. The problem is that the book is getting too thick already, so... Um, I might glue it together. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So right here, um, we start indicating the eyes first. And then little by little, we're falling down. And we're doing the nose. So let me show you how this one is. Okay, so let me... Um, 
make sure you guys can see this because I gotta level this. All right, good. I'm checking on my phone right now to see if I can. All right, good. So there's so many ways of drawing heads and faces. You know, you, you you're training your eye. Once you learn the basics, then you'll be you know you'll do some heads and faces just like Romero from his head without using too many lines. I notice that when he does his paintings, he trains his eye to see where everything goes. You know what I mean? So he doesn't use too many lines in his paintings. And we all know that Romero does charcoal and painting. And I would guess when you're doing painting, you definitely need to train your eye to see where the, the features are. So, all right, so this is another one. <clears throat> this will be like a cross. You know, we're doing the access line. And uh, what I like about this one is that he starts doing a hint of the eyebrow. And you can start the eye first if you want. This will be great if you're doing um, probably most likely, um, you know, uh, portrait drawing if you want. Then after you continue with the eyebrows, um, then you, you know, you can scribble in the form of the eye here and measure a three eye length here. And then here's, you scribble in the other eye here. And then you visualize, you know, you can do very lightly the lines. Remember, everything, if you're going to use lines, you know, work lightly. Right now, it's going to be a little bit darker because I'm showing you how the process works. So, though, then when you go down, you're, you know, you're visualizing the nose line. You're going to see it right there. And you could do a circle for that tip of the nose. That'll help you out. This will be... You know, sometimes you can do this. You can just bring two lines, which is the plane of the frontal part of, of the nose, the center of the nose, and you'll be the corners right here if you want. And then you can do the circle if you want after that. And then you, you're going to see, little by little, you're going to start shaping, you know, your face. After that, um, you continue by... You know, if you're doing a, a, the por a portrait drawing or something, you're, you're going to do the features, whatever. And uh, you're going to continue uh, working your way down. You could, you know, visualize like an eye width down, you know. <clears throat> and then right here, here we have the mouth. Then the bottom part of the lip. Okay. And then once I have all that, I can start working with the shape of the face. So... What he did was he started working, um, which, um, let me see something. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, actually, you should, you should start the shape of the face first and then the mouth. But it really doesn't matter. As long as you get a visual effect of what you're drawing, you're getting the idea. You're going to do the planes for the cheek lines for the outside of the face. And you're going to work here. And you're going to work here. And then, of course, he did the mouth afterwards. And, of course, I did, did it a little bit different. Then you're going to visualize here the chin. Now, remember, if this is a man, the chin is going to be just a little bit wider. And then you'll do certain details to form, you know, the form of the mouth, you know, the oval shape. Here are the tempo lines right here. And then right here, you're going to visualize the um, hairline right here. Okay. So we're going to go back and we'll do, we'll start, you know, we pretend that we're actually looking because right now I'm do, actually doing this from my head. And I'm going to pretend that I'm, you know, drawing a face. I'm sort of like using some type of reference, which I'm not. I'm actually doing this for my head, so I'm trying. So it's just to give you an idea how you guys would actually do portrait drawing, okay? And here's the lip right here, and here's the chin, okay? And then little by little, you're going to start, you know, you could scribble in the form of the face. And then you have already the guidelines 
already done and you didn't even have to do too many guidelines. You see what I mean? This will be the top of the head right here. And then you round it off. And then you have your head. And then the ears will be here. When you do the cheek lines, you could actually, you know, all this structure that I just did here is going to help you form not only the outline of the head here, but the form, how the face should look like. You see, and then you, we got the ears right here, and you got to remember that the ears are level where the bottom of the nose to where the eyelid is. Okay, so pretty much that's how I would probably do it, and that's the way he did it. Maybe I did a, something a little bit different because I'm always doing something different. You know, I could capture a technique and a method, and and I'll probably you know change it a bit. Right here would be the bridge of the nose, center of the nose. And then I got my face right there, see? And the planes. And follow with the shape. And you might want to probably taper in just a little bit the face, which I already did already. And then we could finish off this side over here. We can, you know, we could do the ears if we want first. And then start shaping the rest of the face. See how little by little your face starts forming? And I really do like the way he did this one. Even though there's so many ways he did it. You know what I mean? Um, but this one really... But remember, when you're using this, um, you could actually use this um, process if you want to draw women uh, or men you know just make sure you work lightly work little by little don't rush start training your eye to see where everything goes eyebrows eyes the center of the nose visualize you can actually use in your mind you could visualize the triangle like this you visualize shapes you don't really have to draw the shapes, which I mentioned before, you know, <clears throat> you are going to visualize. You're training your eye to see where, uh, how the shapes work of, of the face, the features, okay? And make sure that, which I don't know if I did this too good, but I'm going to fix it anyway. Just make sure that when you're doing the eyes, it's nice and level with this eye right here, okay? Okay, so this one... You guys should practice this one a lot. And of course, practice this one and practice this one. And, you know, take your time doing these things. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do another process, which I have here. And I actually did it here on this side. Let me see. Actually, over here, yes. Okay. Okay. Actually, and remember, take notes, man. Take notes of everything you learn. Take notes like I do. So we'll, we're just going to actually start off with a horizontal line, and then we'll start working with the features. As you can see, I did a step-by-step, -step, the numbers. I number everything I do, you know. And then after that, and this was a, a video I saw of this French lady that kind of worked, kind of has a very similar touch to um, Loomis and a little bit of Romero. So... What she did was that she started off with the nose first, the eyebrows. And this one, of course, is a little bit different because she started with the eyebrows first. Sorry, the nose, the eyebrows. And then little by little, you, you know, she starts shaping the face. So let me show you how this one works. And um, we're going to take our time, all right? So that way you guys, you know, get this knowledge in your head. You program, program this in your head, okay? So... <clears throat> We're going to visualize the center, and that will be where the eyes are going to go. And then the nose, when you're going to do the nose, you're going to do the bridge of the nose here. Like going upward, and you're going to do like a triangle shape for that nose. And this is great. And this was a portrait drawing that she was doing. So, so I'm just going to do something out of my head, because I don't have any pictures right now. I could use this because I took this out because this will be cool to draw. Great. This is a, some Spanish movie from Spain. 
has to do with espionage, mafia, you name it, whatever. So um, this will be a great face to draw. But the only thing with this is that the nose, you have to draw the nose looking upward. So if I were to do this, I would probably do a curved line first. And then another curved line here just to get that nose the way I want it. But unfortunately, I can't see his eyes. But I could pretend I could do something you know, just to make it look like the eyes and then just do the, you know, the shades on top of his face after that. And then you can see a curve right here. Remember? Everything, you know, you visualize the face. If you're going to do a portrait drawing, always visualize the face where the direction, how the face is turning. Okay? So, of course, this video, we're going we're, we're gonna to try not to use too much lines or grid lines because we're going to, you know, that way people can actually learn how to draw without lines and too many grid lines. So we just, just use one line only. That's it. See? Then we have the nose. And then <clears throat> uh, the next thing we're going to do is, is the eyebrows. But which eyebrow do we start? We, we start this eyebrow first. Okay, we're going to start this eyebrow. And then we're going to start this eyebrow. So I'm just seeing it, uh, you know, a face from my head right now. I'm not using any reference. Okay, after that, um, we go down and we're going to visualize. We're going to train our eye to actually see the mouth right here. So the mouth would be right here. We could do, you know, a line here. The center for the mouth right here. And the bottom of the mouth right here. Okay. Then we'll do the chin right here. So before we go on, let's study this. We have the nose, the bridge of the nose. We have the eyebrows. And then we have this, the other bra eyebrow here. But we want to make sure that the bridge of the nose is visible too. That way this will stay nice aligned. And we can make another, um, it's sort of like a ghost image line here. That'll be the eyebrow line, okay? After that, we continue <clears throat> little by little by working with, um, let me see, two, three. Okay, the mouth. Okay, yes. We visualize from the corner of the, where the nose is, we're going to go up. And then we, right here, we're going to actually see an image, an image of an eye. We can scribble in the eye, and then later we can shape it, okay? This right here will be the other eye here. So we start shaping the other eye here, okay? After we start shaping that eye, we, we start doing, you know, the filter over here, fix it a little bit, okay? And then little by little, you're going to see uh, a face. And, of course, this is coming from my head right now. And maybe it's always better to use reference. But, you know, right now I don't have the perfect reference that I need. And uh, I need to get magazines and, uh, you know, with faces. I'm going to see if I can go to maybe in the library to find some. Or maybe I'll just, you know, next week or the other week after. Because right now I got some debts to pay. So what I'm going to do is get me some books on faces and heads. And that'll be great practice. So you could do that. You could go to your lo local bookstore and find yourself some good books on faces and heads. Uh, just regular faces and heads, different angles, you, you know. And then get yourself a book. But usually, I think what I, the reason why I messed up, I, the reason why I couldn't find a good book like that was because the topic... I have to look under photography. That'll be the best move. Always look under photography because, you know, photography, the photography section in the bookstores, you'll, you'll be surprised. You'll, you'll find books on faces and heads, you know, famous people, photographs of famous people, and that'll be your, the best way in drawing reference, I think. So I'm going to try that the next time I go to Barnes & Nobles because I plan to go there. But that's going to be my first focus in doing, you know, uh, actually getting a book on reference. Not doing, sorry, just getting a book on reference. 
or maybe I might go and visit and just take a browse. But it's tempting. The problem is it's so tempting that if you have just a little bit money and you want to buy a book and you know you have something else to do with that money, so I'm going to wait till I get a bigger check, you know, because this week I got to pay my brother the rent. And, um, you know, I got to do some other stuff. So, so I'm going to wait. And unfortunately, I don't get paid that much. I don't make that much money. So, so I have to wait. I have to wait. But I will get a book on, you know, on reference and on faces and heads. So you see what I'm doing right now? I'm starting, you know, I'm visualizing. I'm training my eye to see little by little, you know, the face. And then I start working, you know, little by little with the uh, the structure of the face. Right here, with, I could actually visualize, if I want, the triangle technique, which is sort of like the Hogarth method. Right here also, sort of like the Hogarth method, if I want. You know, little by little, you know, I, I'm starting to see where everything goes. What I should have done was I should have done the oval first, and then yeah, that would be the end. That way I could do the mouth much better. Then, you know, I'll start scribbling the form of the head over here, and right here I'm going to see the ear line, and then the jaw. I'm going to connect it to where the chin is. So, you know, this process, um, you really got to concentrate with this. Um, little by little, you're going to get the idea with, you know, working without too many construction lines. And I know, I know a lot of people uh, sometimes get frustrated because they don't like to work. Um, some people use these type of, you know, techniques like that, something like that. And then they start doing the features. I don't like doing that. I, it's just, I, that's like just too much for me. Uh, some people told me it works, but I don't like doing that. I just, if I were to do a face, I'll just do a few lines and that's about it or use the circle method. And then I work my way with that. See, so let's try to do a woman using this technique and uh, again I'm going to visualize the access line in the center here so right here would be the bridge of the nose and this is going to be her nose right here her eyebrow the other bridge of the nose the other eyebrow here um, I'm going to visualize another uh, another line here. Right here would be the mouth. The filter of the mouth. Form of the lips. And the chin. Now, uh, I could start working from the corner of the nose. I go up, but I want to make sure that this is in well-lined proportion, you know, proportion. If I want, I can do the corner right here. Then right here would be the eyes. I could scribble in the eye and scribble in the other eye. I also could do it this way also. I could, um, you know, start working with the nose, right? And then do the eyebrow and then do the hint of the corner of the contour of the face, work my way up like that. And then work with the mouth You know, little by little, you know, you, it's like your mind is going to train to figure out a lot of things. Your mind is like a computer, believe it or not. You you make your mind work 
and it's it, you'll you'll be able to do anything you want. You know what I mean? Um, it's like a computer. Your mind. So I think this re actually really works out pretty well. I might actually um, probably do this one. And let me do this before I forget. I think this is a great idea. Let me start the same process. It's just gonna, gonna it's just gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna do the nose first, right? One. Okay, so the eyebrows will be second, and then I'm going to do the outside, third, and up, fourth, then the other eyebrow, which will be the fifth. So when you learn something, try to number, you know, number every step, every process that you're doing. And the mouth. This would be six. Yeah. So it's a little bit, it's going to be the same as the one I did before. So, so I kind of like the way this worked out. So then we start, you know, doing the contour of her face. Little by little, you're actually seeing a face. Work with her jaw. And you could actually visualize also a V shape. And to figure out if you did good with this three quarter view, it's sort of like a V shape here. And then little by little, you have your face done. So you could start the bridge of the nose here, right? the eyebrow here and then do this side of the face here and work with the mouth here and then do the V shape that you could do that too. I mean, there's so many ways I'm seeing like, as I, as, as I'm going, I'm actually seeing all kinds of process that I could do with this. And the cheek lines, will be on, on this side right here. So yeah, this actually would actually work. And the neck. Okay, so I think um, that's great practice to do. And of course, I did this from my head, but if you use reference, it might work for you guys, okay? All right, so let's work with something else now. Let's um, let's do some other stuff here that I uh, did uh, again with the head. And this is something really cool by Romero that I really enjoyed a lot. Uh, and I'm going to show you several ways you can do this. And let me show you the way he did this. Uh, he started, and this is sort of like using perspective on your face. Uh, he did the circle first. Then he did the perspective Okay, so like the three parts, one, two, three. Again, you're going to do more lines, of course, for the eyes and then the mouth and all that. So then after that, you're slicing off the box shape. But make sure you start here, one, two, and three. After that, he starts doing line for the features. All right, so let me show you. We're going to do this both ways, and let's see which is the best way that actually works for this. All right, so... Um, let me see something, because I did it here also, alrighty, okay, so we're going to do a circle, okay, this is not going to have too much lines, and the only lines you're going to see here is probably the, um, the box shape, so here we have the center, right, hairline, and then right here we have the nose line, and then right here we have the chin line, okay? 
And slowly, we're going to visualize a box shape, but we're going to slice this part here first. This will be the side of the face here. And right here would be the other side of the face here. As I'm doing this, if I want, but let's finish the box shape first. All right, I don't want to confuse anybody here. And then we have a box shape there, right there, see? So we visualize the center of the face right here. That'll be the center of my face. Now, um, I could start doing the eye line here, the nose, the mouth, and the chin. Little by little, I'm seeing, you know, the shape turn into a reality. All right, here's, and these lines that we did, which is the box shape, is going to help us even more. Then we got the planes we bring in, and the planes we go straight down, straight down. And then we have the shape, and then we make another line here. That's going to be uh, the ear line. Now, I know this doesn't look like perspective because I'm showing you how the process work. We're going to try this um, perspective to see that way because it's going to help us draw all kinds of angles. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's always important to start off flat. Well, I wouldn't say flat because this is three-dimensional. But um, if you want to understand how things work, start off regular, like a regular three-quarter view, okay? Especially this process. And this is a great process to use, trust me. Okay, so now we're going to do this one um, using the perspective lines, just like Romero does. So let me see if we can do it here, and I'm going to see if I could do it bigger. Yeah, or maybe we'll do it down here. Let me see. Let me fix this camera a little bit. <coughs> okay, so we'll start with a circle again. And uh, we're going to visualize perspective. So... We're going to do the center line first. This will be the hairline. And we're going to visualize it sort of like perspective. See? Then we'll chop off this side, which is going to be part of the box, of course. And then we'll chop off this side, which is going to be the other side of the head, of course. And then, of course, we're going to chop off this side over here. Okay? So always remember that this side of the circle is going to be chopped off. It's kind of like, like the regular Loomis method, even when you're using the box shape, okay? So I'm going to see that my center line is going to be a little bit closer to the edge because this is a three-quarter view, and it's for shortening and perspective. Remember, a three-quarter view is for shortening and perspective, okay? So little by little, I am going to see my eye line my nose line here, and then my chin is going to be here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this as good as Romero. You know what I mean? And I don't want to mess up this technique because I respect him so much. Um, you know, especially if I learn something from him, I want to make sure I get it right. But I'm pretty sure that everything takes practice. So I'm going to work with the face now. I'm going to do pretty much like David Finch does or like the Hogarth method. I'm seeing already the whole Garth method here. And when I'm saying the whole Garth method or the George Bridgman method, that they they always use the grid lines, um, you know, the planes that actually helps you. Remember, I keep saying that the planes, the planes of the face is what brings structure to your face. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to make more tea. All right, so here <clears throat> we have the ear line. And we want to, you know, construct the face first before we work with the features just to see how everything works. And so far, it's working pretty good. Even myself, I'm doing it. I'm actually impressed because the formula is very promising. Here's the back of the neck. 
And of course, this is going to be a man, so the man's neck is going to be a little bit thicker. So we got the structure of the face. And then we can work with the bridge of the nose, the structure of the nose. And we can visualize the eye, the scribble in the eye. And later you just give it form. And then we have the mouth. And then we have the chin. And you see how it's, it works? It actually works. Bob, George, I think you got it, little chap. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I, I just love talking like the British. I love to watch British movies. And I was telling uh, this Spanish friend of mine that um, the only way you're going to learn English is by watching British movies. Uh, because he knows how to speak English, but he has his accent and sometimes there's some vocabularies that are kind of hard to mention. I always recommend, uh, and you know, here, the system here really sucks because the way they teach English here to, you know, people from different countries, they just teach it like kind of like if you were in kindergarten or something. Um, you got to teach, you got to show people and tell people, especially if you want to learn, pro you know, proper English. I always tell this to everybody. You, the only way you're going to learn English is watching British movies. And even though my grammar is not even good, but I always watch a lot of British movies. And remember, I got brought up in upstate New York. And upstate New York, the accent is more different from, you know, the the other parts of New York, like the Bronx, you know. So, you know, the proper English is actually British. So I always tell that. If you want to learn English, you, you know, watch British movies. All right. So this whole segment here that I did actually works. Look at that. You see the perspective on this? It's really awesome. Okay. Now, another way of doing this... <clears throat> If you want, you could do it this way, the circle again. Start off with the center of the face here. The access line. The nose line. And you don't even have to do so much line. You just do one little line there and that's it. Then the chin here. And then you chop it off. You start chopping little by little and i think this is what might be more easier to do i think you know just make sure that you have the box shape you know formed correctly and then you can do pretty much like david finch does the nose the side of the head here and then this side here and then bring this out and bring this in do a hint of an eye line there, and then do the nose, and then you do this, you bring it in, and then you bring this out, and you bring this in, and then you, the ear line, you're going to see it right here, and it works, trust me, this really works. And uh, of course, this is another shortcut, except that... <clears throat> <clears throat> you did the, the regular Loomis method, which is the horizontal line and the vertical line, and you do the box shape, okay? So there's so many ways of doing this process, and I want you guys to program this in your head because you need to learn, and I know a lot of people want to learn how to draw faces without grid lines, but that takes a lot of practice, you know what I mean? I find it better um, using construction lines and some type of form of a box shape or something i think it's more better to draw faces with you know s certain lines and certain grid lines you don't really have to go to the extreme making like some people use a lot of you know it looks like a checkerboard no you don't want to do that you could just use pretty much like i was showing you here the same formula to do the face okay all right, so let's work with another one, which is this one right here, which I like a lot. And uh, actually, let's finish this one because we got to do this one, the front view. Uh, we'll do it right here. 
And this looks so good, man, that I'm going to actually do this in ink or make it make it more darker. I'm going to post this so you guys can see this. So I'm very, very happy with this. So I'm going to actually, you know, start the circle again, right? And uh, this will be the center, which is the vertical line for the center of the face. This will be the eyebrow line right here. And this here would be the nose line, the mouth line. And then right here would be the chin line. And of course, I'm going to use the box shape. So I'm going to, you know, slice over here, slice over here, but, you know, make sort of like the box shape. This is going to be the, the box shape. And then if I want, I can do pretty much like the Hogarth method or pretty much like the George Bridgman method. It really doesn't matter. But for this one, I'm going to start. And let me see if I can cap this. Yeah, okay, good. Because I got to look back on the phone to see you guys can see this. All right, so I'm going to start the nose first. Okay, I want to make sure that the nose is well proportioned. Here's the chin and then the tempo lines. Okay, I got the tempo lines. And then I'm going to do, you know, eye sockets right there. See? And then I'm already seeing a face just by using this whole process, you know. I could also do it like this, but I'm going to do it a little bit bigger so you guys can see and understand how this works. I could also do it like this, okay. Um, vertical line, a horizontal line for the center of the face, the eye line, the nose line, mouth, and chin. I just got to remember that I'm seeing three parts, okay. And then I'll slice here and slice here. And I'm going to make sure that it's even here and even here. So I have my box shape. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate the nose. I could do it this way. That way I know where the eyes are going to be at. Then from there on, I'm going to do the planes for the temples. All right. Then before I do those uh, ball shapes, I could just scribble in the form of the eye there if I want. So I got the mouth. At the same time, I'm going to do a visual effect of where the nose is. So like a ghost image. Okay. I have the ears right here. And right there, I'm seeing little by little the shape of the face. And right here is going to be the hairline and the, and the top of the head right there okay yeah now it looks okay I should have done this with a sharper pencil but you know the problem is um, I want to work with this um, I should have sharpened this before and I make it more sharper wow all right and I gotta buy me some new pencils again because I love working with this pencil. And let's work with the nose. This actually works, people. This is a very good process in figuring how everything actually works, all right? So, um, let's do another good one. Um, I'm going to save this one, definitely, because it came out pretty good. I like the way it came out. And plus, this one came out pretty good, too. All I got to do is just maybe fix it a little bit um, and post it and maybe number them so you could understand how everything works. Okay, so we're going to work with this technique that I was practicing. And this one is pretty cool. I like this one, except that... The proportions are going to be a little bit different here. So, um, I'm going to start with the head, and I'm going to do it here on this side. I want to start with the, the head shape, which is a circle, the cranium, a circle for the cranium. Here's a vertical line for the center of the head and for the face. And then I'm going to visualize the nose over here. And then I'm going to visualize the eyebrow 
you know, the eyebrow line over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the shape. Sort of like a box shape, but this time I'm not slicing the box shape. This is, this is going to be a different process here. Okay. Here's the mouth line and here's the chin line. Then I'll visualize the triangle method. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to visualize the temple, the temple lines. Uh, let me see if I saw this, uh, if I did this one in another. I just want to make sure because, you know, it's always good to make sure. Because sometimes I'll do the technique in other pages, you know, like something new that I added or something. But no, so far it's okay. It's okay. So uh, right here would be my nose. Center of the nose, corner of the nose. And then I'm going to work with the features. It's more like a mask method. Will be the eyes, eyebrows. So I'm just going to scribble some parts of the face. So see how little by little it's actually turning into a face. And this will be great uh, to do, you know, certain comic book faces, which uh, it actually works. And I forgot where I got this idea. I think I found it on Google, but I forgot the name of the, the artist. But anyway, it doesn't matter. As long as you guys learn this. veins, the artery, the Adam's apple, the shoulders, the hairline. Now it's getting hot in here. Jesus mighty Christ. Hold on a second. I just opened the vent just a little bit because I'm still sick. I don't want to get worse. I'm very, very sensitive to cold air conditioning. I don't know why, but ever since I came here from New York, you know, the air conditioning here, they exaggerate a lot. And plus, uh, this air conditioning does not know how to control itself it just you want it to go on and off but it keeps going and going i guess it's be, probably because it's hot outside but it just gets too cold you know <coughs> okay so um that's how you work with this technique it actually works i'm gonna see if i can practice more of this method it actually works let's try to do this one again because i want to practice doing this uh, and this time we're going to use reference. Let's see what we're going to pick. Let me see. We'll find a picture of a woman or something. Let me see. Um, all right, let's use Adele. She's one of my favorite, favorite singers, Adele. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably have this album. It's a little old. I bought this like, oh, I would say like... <sighs> Eight years, I guess. Eight years ago, I think. And um, so I'm going to tip it over so that way I can see the structure of her face. All right, so I'm going to try that, the one that Romero did. So I'm going to just start off like sort of like the cross. And actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's make this a little bit further out here. That's what I'm going to do. eyebrow line and right here's the access center of the face ok 
Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do this. So I'm going to do her pretty, pretty, pretty eyebrows. And her other pretty, pretty eyebrows here. And this will be the bridge of her nose. And after that, we're going to do um, her eyes. But her eyes are closed, so I'm going to make a line for her eyes. And then I'm going to make it a, sort of like a ball shape first, just to get that effect like she's having her eyes closed okay and this this side also i love adele i don't know if you guys are a fan of adele so far i haven't seen anything crazy about adele like all these other artists maybe i haven't yet i don't know but, you know, I noticed that Madonna is going out of, I don't know, it's just, have you seen Madonna's face lately? It's like unbelievable. She doesn't look the same, like, and I love Madonna, but just like her face doesn't look the same like before. My favorite songs by Madonna was Borderline and Like a Virgin. She had all these other great songs, too. So, and I'm going to tell you pretty much, because I already told you how this method works. So, I just want to concentrate on her face. Just to get the idea how it works. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think um, Adele actually gets into... She starts doing anything crazy in TikTok or like Madonna does. Oh, my Lord. I just... Madonna changed a lot, man. It's a shame. Well, I think she was very, very extreme because I remember she did a book called... It was called Sex, the book. I don't know if you guys ever seen that book, but I bought that book once, but I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for this... This woman that I was in love with many years, many moons ago. I would say many, many moons ago. And uh, it was funny because I was bribing her. I'll buy you the book. The book was pretty expensive because it was uh, out of print. And I was so in love with her. I said, look, I'm going to buy you the book, but I want to kiss. You know, I want you to kiss me. But, you know, it's, I was so stupid back then when it came to women, I, I let women use me, like, but I was so in love with this woman, you know, so, um, I'll never forget her name, her name was Madeline, something like that, yeah, Madeline, and, uh, she was beautiful, she actually looked like Anne Margaret, the actress, she was, uh, Puerto Rican, and uh, she had these beautiful green eyes, very busty, oh my lord. And, uh, but she was very stuck up sometimes. You know, she, I've noticed she was very stuck up. Maybe it's because of the friends she hanged out. I don't think she ever wanted to ever fall in love again. She was married before, but. So anyway, I bought her that book, Sex, by Madonna. And I wasted a lot of money. I mean, it's just, on this woman, it's just unbelievable. I guess when you're in love, you just go in insane. You know something? I've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook, what people would do just to find love. And sometimes they're on these web, you know, um, these dating sites. And many of these dating sites, they're all fake. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I've heard so many stories of how... Women and men will actually spend money on people that look like models or, and they think they're real, but they're not. They're just, you know, fake. They're called like catfish people, I guess. I don't know. They, I don't know. There's a new name for it. They're, they're actually, you know, using the word catfish. <clears throat> now, 
I can't promise you this is going to look like Adele, you know, because I got to do a lot of details, of course. But I'm giving you the idea how to do the process. The rest is up to you guys. You guys might have a lot of magic. And you'll be able to probably, once I show you this trick, you could probably do it, do it better than me. It's funny because I heard Romero says, oh, I have found artists that I would teach them this and they'll do it way better than me. And it happens. You know? And I'm just a beginner like everybody else, believe it or not. I'm a beginner like everybody else. The problem is that I'm more advanced because I've been drawing ever since I was a kid. So this part here is going to mess me up when I draw the hand. So I'm going to have to erase a little bit this right here in order to get that hand. And hands, oh my lord, is a real mission. I think I'm going to do more videos on drawing feet and hands. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Adele. She's a great singer. Let me see what songs we have here. I love this song. Rolling in Deep is a great song. All of these songs are good, but the one song, it's not here, is the first song she did, which Pavement, I think it's called Pavement. I'm not really sure, but... Uh, You can tell that there's a lot of cast shadow here, but it's very bright. She's got a very bright looking face, but there's cast shadow, especially underneath these eyebrows. So these are, you know, special effects, the lighting of the photography, you know, they made, they make it look in the it's What's, you know, what's really amazing about these, the photography is that they make you look really good, you know? They make your face look that it actually, I think that's why people go crazy with, with celebrities because of the, uh, the special effects of, you know, the lighting and, uh, the way they actually, uh, show these celebrities and the presence of these celebrities, they make them look really, really good for crying out loud. It's just amazing. And too bad she doesn't have her eyes. Or maybe she does. I don't know. I think she has her eyes opened here in one of these pictures. Yeah, I think she's British too. Yeah, here, yeah, her eyes are opened here. Maybe we'll do this one here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I just want to, um, you know, show you how this one works first so yeah um she's very popular very famous and let's do the shape as we could see like uh it comes out here the shape of the face it curves out and it tapers in so let's see if we can get that curves and it tapers in I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but anyway, I mean, we're just practicing here, people. So we're, we don't expect something big. I know one guy that can do this really good is Romero. He could actually draw this really awesome. You can, you'll probably draw Odell. And I think he has a drawing of Odell. Not, not really sure. I think he drew her. Not really sure. <clears throat> so there's a lot of cast shadow here so i want to fix uh this part of the eye the eyelash there's a lot of thickness there it comes out
is her lips right there. This right here. And then we'll shade in. And you can't really see too much of her neck. You know, you just see, you know, just a lot of hair, but just cast shadow of the hair. You know, you only see like a little hint of the hair. But you can't really see too much. Um, you know, the neck. So I'm going to have to really give this a lot of cast shadow and of course um, the border is here and and then uh, let's fix this part of the hair but the border slices over here on top of the head so I'm gonna have to slice that so, even though the face is supposed to be tipped over but I had to draw her like this I, it's just going to be hard to draw like this at this angle, but I should have done it this way. But, <clears throat> you know, since I'm, I'm a beginner and I like to do, I want to work on reference, so I have to do it this way in order to capture uh, her face. And then we're going to do her hair on this side. Uh... Is a sort of like the framing, you know, the shape of her face, kind of. But remember, she's got hair that's moving in, so I'm gonna have to make this really dark on this side. Let's just make it a little bit darker on this, especially in the bottom part right here. And what I'll do is I'll do the lines for the hair afterwards because it's really dark underneath. Really got to be careful, especially down here. And right here we'll do some dark areas here. And then with the root of the hair, there's a lot of dark areas. Now I'm gonna do some kind of shadow underneath those beautiful eyes. Just a little bit kind of shadow. So I get the idea how she looks. So I'm gonna to try to do more videos for you guys, um, but I, you know, they called me to work an extra day, which I gotta work this Sunday. So usually I have Sundays off, but they needed somebody. But it's extra money for me anyway, and and since I have my, you know, my moped, I'm not gonna cry about it because uh, before it was just very hard to get to work, especially on my bike. So. Now it's more easier because I got my motorcycle. Well, not a motorcycle, but I'll tell you, if it wasn't for the, the insurance, I would definitely get me a motorcycle. So the reason why I actually, uh, as, you know, actually got into a moped is because there's no insurance. I mean, it's bad enough. The cost of living is just unbelievable. So, and the way I see it, because of this stupid, idiotic war, the prices are going up. Food prices, the gas. At least in a moped, you don't spend you know spend too much money on um, you know, on gas. 
he knows how hilarious I saw him. I don't know if this is true or not, but it could be. A, I don't know. It's just, uh, but it went viral. Two Cuban guys, and believe me, Cuban people are pretty smart because they know how to survive, uh, especially with that you know ridiculous regime they have in their country. Um, they actually figure a way how to make uh, gas, which is amazing. By, by using plastic. Now, I don't know how that works. By using plastic. Can you believe that? Of course, they did all this chemical stuff, whatever. You know, and since I'm not very good with Spanish, it's kind of hard to understand how they did it. But look it up. Look it up. Maybe you guys could figure it out. Um, maybe I didn't pay too much attention to it. But look it up on Google. Two Cuban guys figure a way how to make gas. Because the gas situation, I'm telling you right now, it's like really bad. But mark my words, it's like if they find the cure for AIDS, they'll probably have some type of assassination attempt. <laughs> because the same thing with the gas. Can you imagine you figure out how to make gas? That'll probably, you know, destroy business to the oil companies or something. Or, But the process is not easy. And, and I think that doing creating gas with plastic, I think it's a little bit dangerous, you know, but the guy, the Cuban guy said that it might be a little bit dangerous, but if you know what you're doing, then you can actually uh, create gas. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my Lord. That's just, I was incredibly amazed. And, you know, it is what it is, people. You know, when your when your leaders can't do nothing right, you know, and uh, and you got to figure out whether it's a cure or, a, you know, a, a, some type of vaccine or something or a cure. You know, so far they haven't found the cure for AIDS. It's just medication. You know what I mean? That's it. But I am so sure that if they find a cure for uh, AIDS, that is that it, that will destroy the market. And it will actually make the pharmaceutical lose money. Because they want us to depend on medication. And so, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Our governments are the most corruptest, you know, human beings that ever existed. And what I've heard lately, which I'm not, not going to get into it, but my friend sent me a... <clears throat> actually, I found it and I sent it to him. And he actually thanked, thanked me for it because it was something that I saw. I advise everybody, if you really want to know, if you're, if you're, if you're tired of the media, uh, look at Red, Red Deck. That's one of my favorite alternative uh, source of media that I look at. I look at like independent news better to figure out how, you know, well, you know, things are happening all over the world because you have to, because... Um, they were saying something about that the, the news media actually works for the government, both uh, Republicans and Democrats. So you got to look for something that's more like independent, more for the people, you know, the truth, you know. And believe it or not, they, they will censor a lot of stuff. Uh, so I am so sure, I'm so certain these two Cuban guys that figure out how to make gas... They'll probably, you know, I wouldn't say assassinate them, but probably, <laughs> um, probably will stop their viral videos somehow. I don't know. But you know something? Things are so bad, man. You got to try to figure out how to get to work, how to make gas, this and that. And that's what I did. And I know that driving a, uh, you know, a moped is dangerous. I know that. But I had no other alternative because a regular car, especially a used car, is it's a lot of problems. I used to have a used car and it, it would just leave me. At least a moped will last a little longer and I just got to, you know, it's, it's not as bad as a car and it doesn't eat too much gas, you know. So I just got to be careful you know, you know, look on my left, on my right, because everybody tells me, I don't know, moped is dangerous. Everybody says it, you know.
even my brother tells me, I can't believe that you got used to, you, you, instead of getting a car, you got a moped. And, uh, I just got to be careful, you know. So you got to, you know, figure a way because we're living in a situation that you got to do things for yourself, you know, just try to figure out how to get away from all this mess that we're in. And now what I'm doing now is doing some more details on the hair. I darken it a little bit. So it, it looks a little bit, not that much, but a little bit. It has a sort of like a lightness, I would say, you know. So it came out pretty good. All right, guys, that'll be it for now because the next video I want to do is going to be figure drawing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Practice these formulas. Practice the process that I did. You have the option of going back, back and forth. I don't think I'll ever, I, I'm never going to delete my videos, you know, never. Because um, it's great information um, and stuff that I learned because I also go back and look at my videos like right now. I like the way this came out and I'm probably going to start watching it while it loads or maybe I'll just work if I have enough um, data, then I'll do, I'll start working with um, the figure video. I'll start working. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just got to add a little bit more details in this. And then next week, um, probably because I'm off Monday, because this Sunday I got to work Monday. What we're going to do is I'm going to fix my old drawings again, like I did before. And we're going to have fun trying to figure out how to fix uh, the drawings, make it more better. And yeah, little by little. All right, guys, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.